Assalamu alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. Please, masculine Muslim men, please create YouTube channels for the young men, especially um, American Muslim reverts, please. The feminization has reached ex exorbitant levels here, and it's not going to go backwards, it's only going to get worse. We can't all hide in the shadows anymore. The men cannot just hide behind icons and we cannot all stand around just the same people. We all have to be leaders in the charge. Please, create YouTube channels talking about health, healthy diet, healthy lifestyle, how to pick moral women, what kind of women you want, what kind of women the Uma needs. We ha you have to do it. YouTube censors what we can say. But what's happening in our airwaves in California and the airwaves in America, what they're pushing on the youth it, it is, it, it is something from the pits of hell. And I don't care if the liberals laugh at it. We can't allow the liberals and the atheists, the Democrats and the progressives, to to pull us into the hole with them. We have to always keep our energy pushing outward. If you notice when you get around very liberal, atheistic women, they pull you in. When you get near them, they, they, they placate you. They like want to pet you. They try to calm you down all the time so that they can manipulate you easier. Whereas a conservative woman projects her energy more, not in a violent way, but she's there. We need to have more women like this step up. I know even if the women, they don't want to show their face or even being in the cop, they can have a thumbnail of a flower and still give their voice and their opinion. But I'm like here on t like by a, a mountain peak and behind me is this bubbling hot volcano that is oozing lava. And below is a happy little farmland with a little village of cute, happy people filled with children. And I'm shouting about the slowly moving magma lava substances and, and just rock and ash that's spewing out of this volcano. That is how I feel right now. And I can't get too graphic or even say too much because of how the authoritarians, the very woke left atheistic woke tards, are, are gutting and ripping out the tongues of everyone who speaks against them. But please, you have to expand to other apps. You have to enter into the arena of saying why you value motherhood, why protecting children's innocence is important, why eating healthy is important, why voting conservative is important. Why you believe in Allah, why you believe in Islam, why you feel Islam should rule. All these ways of, of giving unique dawah on whatever healthy perspective you can give, you need to do it. Because we're, like, we're getting surrounded here. The psychological abuse we Americans are going through, where all the men on TV are idiots or they're dogs. It is is not is is going to produce some very scary type of men and women for the future, and the children are being shown images that twenty years ago, no one would have ever thought. And the people, the the the, the new generations who are going to be raised this way, are going to end up traveling to the, across the world, bringing their ideas with them. You have to prepare wherever you are in the world. For when this type of evil arrives at your shores. Because they're going to silence all their opposition. The only way the left atheists can, can get their ideas out there is by silencing rational sane people. You have to understand that the way they get inside your head is by laughing at you, calling you dumb, mocking you, and then like giving this sort of vampire type of magnetism that comes to you and calms you down and placates you with your job, with your school, with intimacy, with drugs, something material. We have to maintain our strength, okay? 
one way that they, they, they systematically target you is to get you to worship titles. They get you in debt and the banks, they own you. So you work all day, you miss your prayers, and then they keep you in a perpetual cycle of work, like a hamster on a wheel. You, you ever seen a hamster? I used to have some. They run all night on that wheel, and they feel like they're going somewhere, but they're not going anywhere. Or they tire themselves out, and then they just fall asleep. And then sometimes they fall asleep on the wheel. That is what we have here in America, okay? If you send your kids to an American school, most of the teachers are liberal Democrats, even in the red states. You don't need the paper title. You don't, you're coming here, you're going to corrupt yourself. America is not who it used to be. My country is not the same of uh, rugged individualism, law, order, decency, moral character, protecting children, motherhood, fatherhood, femininity, masculinity, preserving the union. It's not that anymore. It's not. The disdain that the youth have for farmers, for morality, even obeying basic police command is, 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 is going to cause some severe problems of safety and security in the future. They're making it harder and harder for people to live outside the cities. Okay? And they're pulling people from the suburbs into the city with materialism and job titles from schools. If we break the worshiping of titles and look at people's characters instead, that is one way we can break the liberal atheists and democrat progressives, the socialists, the communists hold on us. We can break free from them if we stop worshiping titles and stop encouraging people to go into debt and stop encouraging people to be in a rat race where they neglect their salah and where they worship brands more than they worship the maker and where they pick wrong women. We have to be strong, healthy, and vibrant. We have to come together around Tawheed, have the correct aqidah, the correct fiqh, but we have to put our consciousness out there into the world and start talking to each other, sharing ideas, and creating Islamic culture. If you're good at animation, create more uh, haram, like, like non-haram means of making earnings for halal cartoons. So make kid shows and, and work on it. We cannot just have like three or four kid uh, Islamic channels. We need to have a bunch, just as much as the non-believers have, because they're systematically pushing out with billion dollar budgets stuff. Moms, if you are a, a Muslim woman, even if you don't want to show your face, do a cooking video. Do something. Okay, do something. Because the push that these people are having is so powerful. And it almost feels like at this point you can't even resist. And they're not going to be safe by running away and going to an Islamic country because you cannot run away. We all cannot fit in the same countries. And if we all abandon everywhere to get decay they'll all come like zombies to one spot i think strategically muslims in america must we must abandon the blue states or if we have to stay we have to give dawah in any way we can we have to give people books we have to create content we have to talk to people we have to stand firm and then if you can move, move somewhere where you can have a farm, a yard, a space, have more children. We have to push hard against them because they're coming for the schools. They're coming for the media. They're, they're everywhere. And they're coming specifically for the men and making the women's minds insane through bad role models, intoxicants, horrible music, terrible shows, adult entertainment, and shopping addictions, and all types of depravity. I wish I could just be more explicit and give you all the examples, but I know the troll and the haters are going to watch, and they're always watching, because they want to silence rational people. 
They want you to feel alone. They want you to think you're going nuts. They want to surround you like hyenas to a dying zebra and rip you apart one by one into their mental psychosis. You must prepare psychologically for what they're going to put at you. Remember the book I read, The Gulag Archipelago? A lot of that talks about the mental aspects of surviving torture. What's happening to us Americans right now is a form of psychological and physical torture. Closing businesses. New York City is having trouble even keeping electricity on. There, our politicians are openly corrupt, openly depraved. And our, our mothers and our women are becoming mindless, naked zombies who twerk and are, are so vulgar that it makes you depressed that they're even women. Just mindless zombies. And seeing men spend more money on a chain than charity. And that the young men are being taught that's what it is to be a man, to degrade women in such a horrific manner. Please, if you have traditional values, you need to say something about those values. You cannot hide inside your homes. You have a smartphone, access to the internet. You can do something even without showing your face. Muslims who live in America, we have to survive. And the Christians, I wish they'd wake up. They complain and complain and complain and they hate Muslims so much. When in reality, we need each other in a sense, just to team up for a temporary alliance to push back the decay that the liberal atheists are pushing upon us against our will, against our will. Please enter the fray. Please create some type of content. If you have a Muslim business, please try to hire just Muslims secretly. Try to have a way to do something for Islam. I don't know, but brainstorm something. America is falling. America is collapsing. Physically and spiritually. It's like we're giving birth to creatures that are utterly in the army of shaitan. And liberal atheists will laugh when they hear something like this. But those of you who are religious, those of you who believe in Allah, you'll know what I mean. When you see it. You see these people, when you see their values, you see how they push on it, you see how they tear at boys. They want them to be these feminized, weak worms and these raging, cold, ice queen women who look like they would suck the soul out of every person who comes near them. You, you would be afraid. They care more about their dogs than they do about preserving men. Consider it. Consider it. If you have a favorite sheikh you like, do an interview with them. Give people hadith books. I mean, we have to stop focusing on our jobs and our schools. We have to start focusing on the Ummah and spreading Islam. And preparing for the satanic zombies who are pushing their sickness and depravity and evil upon us against our will. Because eventually if we don't fight back, there's not going to be anywhere to escape. They're going to be on every app. They're going to be the bosses at every job. They're going to be the teachers at every school. It's just incredibly sad. Watching my country fall, you don't want this feeling for your country. You don't want it. And if you think it can't happen, stop it. Instead, be proactive. Be smart. Talk to your school. Create something in your community. Prepare before it gets to the point where it is in California, where there is no rewinding. I don't think anything can save California. I think, like I said in the last video, I think... 
all the red states should separate and the, all the blue states should separate in America and our union should be over. And we should all be divided on our political lines and religious lines. We should have all the people who are conservative religious people only live in the states together. And all the liberal atheists should be expelled into their own territories. And we should divide ourselves because we, I don't think we can coexist because what they're trying to push on our children, what they're doing to our men, what they're doing to our women, they're going to bring the wrath of the law upon us. And if we're in their vicinity, something could happen to us because of what they brought upon us, what they brought upon to humanity. They're channeling six consciousnesses that are against the will of the law, that are, 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 are so just... I just wish I could tell you. Please, wherever you are in the world, wherever you're watching from, be proactive. Eat healthy, okay? Don't eat fast food. Don't drink. Take care of yourself.